If Soldo isn't connected to your accounting system, then you may need to pull out some reports manually and then upload them into your accounting system. Alternatively, you may just want to look at some reports for reconciliation purposes. And the way that we do that is to come to reports and then statements. So before we go into how we pull out reports, it's worth just refreshing how Soldo works so we can understand what it's trying to tell us in the reports. Soldo acts as a bank account, which contains within it little sub accounts, which we call wallets. And so we might want to look at Soldo and consider the amount that we've got in Soldo in total. We might want to look at what amounts are sat within the individual users. And we may want to look at what's still left to distribute sat within the account, but not yet allocated to a person. So to do that, let's come and look at a date range, which would be helpful. So I'm going to say, look, from the beginning of December all the way to today's date, and we can see on the overview that I've got £215.19 sat within Soldo and that could be distributed around different people but the entirety of my money that's within Soldo is this amount just here. And then that's broken down into money that's sat within different accounts and wallets. So we can see that there is £65.19 that's been allocated to a user and they've got that then available to spend. From here we can drill down and see transactions but i want to focus on the reports just now so let's look at export and there are two options that we're going to look at at the moment the first is pdf and i'm going to look at balance transactions and attachments and this is really a very exhaustive view of everything that's gone on within soldo now you may wish as part of your reconciliation to just reconcile the top level value of the money within soldo uh, and then post all of the amounts within there depending on the amounts involved you may want to reconcile the separate user wallets as well and given the information on here you've got the option to choose the way that you deal with that so looking at the statement we can see that our opening balance when we opened the account was of course zero we've added 250 pounds as a deposit We've spent £34.81, or the user has, and we're now therefore left with 215 and 19p, which kind of matches back to what we saw a second ago. We can then start breaking that down and inquiring, well, where is that money within Soldo? So, okay, we've got 215 quid, but where is it? So first, we've got the company wallet. So this is the sort of reserve pot where the money sits and then can be distributed to different users. And we can see that we've got 150 quid in that pot. We first paid in 250. We then allocated 100 to a user and we're left with the 150 there. And then that sits within Soldo. We can allocate that to users as we need to. Next then, we've got the amount that's been given to a user. And again, as we saw a second ago, we saw that that amount is £65.19. And we can see the movement on here. So we've transferred in 100, spent 34 or 35, and then we've got the 65 left at the end. To drill down further than that, we just come further down the PDF document. So we can look at the high-level transactions in and out of the account. So we've transferred 250 in, and then we've um, given transfers to a particular user. Next, we can see um, what transfers have gone for this user. So what's been transferred to this user here. But if we come down even further, we'll start to see what the transactions have been. Now, this is a new card, new account. So there are lots of pre-authorizations as accounts have been set up. But we can see the bottom two or three transactions here, are actual amounts that have gone out. We can see the date, we can see the type of transaction, we can see all the information that we need. And we can also see how the user has categorized this account as well. So they've chosen the uh, account code that it needs to go to. They've chosen the supplier and the tax rate as well for all three of these transactions. To get even more detail, we come down further and we can start then seeing individual snapshots of individual transactions. So we can see here a little bit more detail. And on the right, you'll see that we've got the receipts and invoices attached that the user has uploaded. So this PDF really gives us everything that we need to know about this account over a given time period. So that's great. If we want to review and we want to sit through and, and look at a report and see what's gone on, that works really, really well. But if we want to import that into an accounting system, it doesn't really help us for it being in PDF for that. So what we're going to do is come to CSV and then comma delimited. We're going to export that and move across to the file just here. Now this again is just a list of all the transactions that have gone through Soldo, including the internal transfers. So this is the money that's come in would be a, a bank transfer from our current account. And these transfers here are money moving between the accounts within Soldo. And depending on how you want to reconcile this in your accounting system, you may post these or you may disregard them. But if we were to uh, filter purely on the payments, then that shows us the card payments that have gone through. And these are the things that we're more likely to be interested in posting to our accounting system. So in Excel or whatever spreadsheet software you use, you can run a filter on the type, pick out just the payments, and then you'll be left with the card transactions that have been posted. Of course, 
looking along here, we'll see the metadata that has been added to these transactions as well. So we can see we've got the VAT rate, we've got the expense category, that's all been pulled through. So now it would just be a case of exporting or t uh, formatting this Excel sheet and then importing it into your accounting system. Of course, if you want to see the documents in there as well, you can either download them separately from Soldo or refer to the PDF we looked at a second ago.